We're going to be working through a 30 minute hit mobility class. That is 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest, in which time I'll be showing you the next exercise. Remember to take it at your own level. I'll show you regressed options, a little bit easier options, and a little bit harder options. So pick the option that's gonna work for you today. Try and keep pushing through the whole 40 seconds of work if you can, but if you need to stop and rest, do so. Just keep your feet moving, keep your body moving a little bit. Don't sit down in the middle of your workout. Are you ready to do it with me? Let's go. Let's take the feet wide and rotate side to side. So rotating from your waist. Let's take a reach across. Good. Take a nice bend and sweep the arm all the way up and over. So as we start to warm up, we'll make these movements a little bit bigger. Pull it arm back. Good. Oh. Can we bend the knees a little bit more? Core is engaged. Lovely, lift your knee and the other. Let's pull the arms down. So nice big reach up. I know sometimes you can feel like, oh, I'm just gonna do this, but let's really reach. Try and open the chest and shoulders. Core is engaged. Kick your butt. Push your arms back. So as much as you can, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. Heel in front. Sinking down, warming up the ankles. Reach the opposite arm, scoop it up. Take it all the way over. Yes. Woo. Hold it here. Little jog side to side. That feels too much, just much to do. Good. Right foot, little lunge forwards. Again, right leg. Good. Keeping this knee in line with your toes. Go four more. Three, chest is high. Two, switching legs. Remember, this is our warm up. So keep it nice and small. Not bending too low. Good, four more. Three. Two, one, good. Take your head in a half roll, go back the other way. Half roll. Core engaged. Take it a little bit further down. You want to slow the movement a bit. Let your body go. Lovely. You're keeping the core engaged. Imagine you're going over the top of something. Two more. Last one, Woo. open it up, good, bring the feet in, we're going to start off with a rear lunge, lift the knee to the front, rear lunge and kick it out, okay, then you step it back, jump switch legs, so it's knee, kick and jump to switch, let's go, right leg, knee, kick, put it down, jump switch, knee, Kick. If you don't want to jump there, just step to change the leg. So step in, step back, if that's better for you. Driving the hip forwards as you lift the knee and as you kick. Make sure also that your knee, that lunges in front, is not dropping in, it's staying in line with your toes. Keep it going, guys. Woo! We've got five more seconds. And rest. Well done. We're going to take a narrow squat. So feet a little bit wider than your hip bones. Sinking the hips down and back. Lift the right leg to the side. And lift the left leg. We've still got five seconds to recover. Breathe through it. In three, two, or one. Hips back. And lift. So as you lift up, press the ground away. Keep your toes pointing towards me. Good. Don't worry if it's not as high as mine. But we're in a parallel position, kneecap points forwards, so there will be a point where you can't lift your leg. 
any higher. Can we up that tempo? Can you sink your hips a bit lower? Come on team. Woo! Five seconds. Get that heart rate up. Three, two, and one. Well done. We're gonna to come to the floor with a knee hover. Okay? So if it's too much to hover the knees, knees down. Tap right hand to left shoulder, switch, and then step back to plank and into hover. Okay? Let's go. Hover it up. Right hand, left hand, step out to plank, step back in. Left, right, out, in. Keep the back of your neck long. So you're lifting the whole of your upper body and your back of your neck towards the ceiling, pushing the ground away with your hands. Try to keep your hips as still as possible. Breathe through it. Keep going guys, you've got eight more seconds of this. Draw those abs in. Breathe through it. Three, two, one. Well done. Come up to standing. We're going to start off over one side of the mat. Take a big jump. Take the inside leg or rotate it round. Curtsy. Feet in. Big jump. Left knee rotates to curtsy. Let's go. If jumping is feeling too much for you, big step over. Yes. Make this movement as big as you can. We're trying to improve the mobility in the hip. Big curtsy back. Remember the back heel is lifted, knees traveling in line with your toes always. So if you curtsy, we rotate it out. Knees follow those toes. Five seconds, guys. Can you fit in one more? Woo! And rest. Well done. So feet can be wide, toes forwards, fingertips to temples. Flat back down, round the spine, roll up. And keep repeating. Knees slightly bent if you need to, otherwise the legs are straight. Let's go. So keeping the spine long and flat on the way down, pull the abs in, roll yourself up to standing. If you need to, release the hands, use them onto your thighs, and hands to the top of the hips, if you need, okay? Otherwise, I want your spine as long as possible on the way down. Reach the crown of your head forward, almost feel like you're gonna fall onto your face. Don't. <laughs> okay? Good job, guys. So get that weight forwards, really recruiting hamstrings and glutes. And rest. Woo! Well done. Don't forget, this is your chance to wipe your sweat. Take a drink if you need it. We are going to do a front lunge. Push off and kick the leg behind us. Same leg. Front lunge, kick the leg. Okay? Ready? Right leg coming to the front. Let's go. Lunge, push off, kick that leg back. <sighs> Making sure you haven't got anything precious behind you. <laughs> or a window or something. Flex that foot at the back, kick it away. Press down, push the ground away. As you power back up, make sure you're not doing a kind of snake to push back away. Keep the core engaged. Imagine someone's lifting you from here. Push. Big kick to the back, using those glutes. Lift that leg, go on, one more. And rest. Easy, next move, same thing, other leg. Breathe through it, so in through your nose, out through your mouth to control the breathing. Eight more seconds. We're gonna be bringing the left leg forward, push up, kick back. If you need to, if you're feeling wobbly, tap that foot, let's go. No shame in tapping the foot. Also guys, you don't have to kick as high as I am. Maybe you don't wanna lean that far forward. Maybe it's here. As long as you're feeling those glute muscles working, that's what we want. And we're firing 
the muscles, trying to push through, get the heart rate up. So once you get into the flow of it, you feel that you're in the right position and you can start to increase the speed. Do it. Three, two, one. Woo! Rest. Downward facing dogs, hips to the air, right leg up. We bring the right knee behind the right wrist, set the shin down and lower towards the floor. Keep the toes tucked at the back, push up. Left leg up, knee behind the wrist and down. Okay, let's go. Downward dog, right leg up, knee behind the wrist, push it back up and then left. So to push yourself up here, you're going to press down onto the shin of that leg in front. Remember, we're changing legs each time. So do both legs through this flow. Let's get that leg all the way up in the air and then bring it forwards. Press the hips down. We're trying to increase the mobility. Woo! You've got five seconds and then stay on the floor, guys. Three, two, one. Okay, hips down, you're lying on your front, fingertips to temple, back extension, lift up, rotate right, rotate left, put the hands down, push back to child's pose, come back onto your front and repeat starting the other side, in two, let's go, up, rotate right, left, hands down, child's pose, come back, lift, left and right. Hands down, push it back, come forward, lie down. Listen to me, listen to me, listen Maybe the rotation is very, very small. Don't worry, just do what your body is allowing you to do today. Keep pushing through it, guys. You've got 10 seconds. I want you to make sure your core is engaged. You're not pushing your belly into the floor. <laughs> Three, two, one. Standing up, well done. 20 seconds, breathe, have a look. Your feet are rotated about 45 degrees, nice and wide. Pulse for two, big circle, and switch. Pulse for two, big circle, and switch. Ready, let's go. Two pulses, circle that right leg, left side, pulse. Big circle, gotta really push off, two, Push up, circle it round, left side. Send your hips slightly back. In that side lunge, your knee is always tracking in line with your toes. Try and make that movement as big as you can. Push it up. Woo! Nice. Yes, guys, if you wanted to. Big round kick. Using that core. And rest. Well done, well done. We're going to take the feet wide. Squat down, cross the feet. Try and keep your shoulders facing the front. Down, cross. Okay? Four times. Hold here. Eight heel lifts. And repeat. Let's go. Four alternate crosses. Heels up. I think I might have miscounted there. But that's cool. Four of these, eight heel lifts. If the jumping feels too much, then just cross in front. Yeah? Sink down, heels up for eight. If you want, hands to thighs. Woo! Nice squats down. Three, two, one. Rest, guys. Good job. All right, we're standing, feet under hips. Send the right leg back. Pull it up. Go all the way around. Send it back. Pull the knee up. All the way around. Let's go. Right leg. Back. Bring the knee up. All the way around. Send it back. Knee up. All the way around. Woo! Really strong on the left leg. That's the side that's doing a lot of the work here. Don't worry if you're wobbling. Core engaged. 
arms helping you reach away, lift through, embrace the wobble, yes. Shake it out, shake that left leg. We're gonna switch over, do the other side. So you'll be standing on the right and moving the left, okay? Breathe through it, guys, breathe through it. Trying to get the heart rate up, but also try and move the body through the full range. Left leg, let's go. Press it back, come up, take it all the way round. If I move too fast for you, slow it down. If I'm moving too slow, speed it up. As long as we're doing the movements done well, adding speed can be something that increases your heart rate a little more. So don't compromise. Good movement quality for doing it quickly. Press the ground away with the underneath leg. Shoulders drawing down towards your hips. So pull them in. Four, three, go on, push through it. Two, a one, 20 seconds. Good job, guys. We're gonna curtsy with the right leg. So in your curtsy, the knees point in line with your toes, 45 degrees. Take it down, kick the leg to the side, squat, come in. Curtsy, kick, squat, let's go. Curtsy, kick, squat, push it up. So once you get into this pattern, you can really start to fire through. Don't worry if your movements are just little here. That's fine. Go with what your body is able to do today. Can you bend a little lower in your curtsy? Push up. Push up. Yes. Come on, let's go. Oh, rest. We're going to be going to the other side, but you knew that already. Dab that sweat off, have a drink. Whatever you need to do, team. So we'll be doing left leg, same thing. Curtsy, kick, and squat. Let's go. Feel the difference, one side to the other. Maybe this side feels easier. Maybe it feels tighter. That's okay. Work with what you got. It's all about learning, isn't it? If this side feels a little bit weaker, you know you can work on strengthening it more. Or if it feels tighter, maybe we need to work on the flexibility a bit more. Woo. And vice versa. Well done, girls. Can we sink lower? Breathe through it. Relax. We're going to the floor. We're going to crisscross and we're going to single leg stretch. So take it to your back. If you don't know Pilates, this is not a resting stretch. <laughs> Knees in. Lifting up. One knee in, extend the other leg. Not too low. Eight times. Let's go. Six, five, four. Fingertips to temples. Rotate towards the knee for eight, three, two, switch. Make it easier by taking the legs up higher. Rotating for your crisscross. Think about pulling the shoulder over rather than the elbow. If your neck starts aching, hold your head with your hands. Just let the weight of your head fall in. Pull those abs in, press your lower back into the floor. Try and lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Two, one, rest, stay on the ground. Woo. We're gonna do single leg glute bridge, feet in line with your hips, lifting the hips up and down. That is your easiest option. Otherwise, we're doing left leg in the air, knee above hip, pushing into the right leg for 20 seconds, and then lifting, let's go, left leg for 20 seconds. So pressing into the foot that's on the ground, or both, lift the legs both down, squeezing the glutes, lifting the pubic bone up so we don't end up arching the spine or letting the hips drop. Press and switch legs. Let's go, press to the ceiling, push, 
keep that knee in line with your hip. Core is engaged, two lowest ribs pulling down towards your hip bones. Woo. Five seconds, push through. And rest, well done. Stay on the floor, hug your knees in. We're gonna rock and roll. We come up, press into the floor, stand. That's a jump if you want, come back down. If you don't have the mobility to do that, one foot in front of the other, come to a kneel to stand. Alternate legs. If you're doing that, let's go. In your ball, tuck in. Your abs are pulled in tight. You're tucking your head towards your knees and you roll only to your shoulder blades. Don't roll onto your neck or your head. Come on guys, let's go. You're halfway through. I want your heart rate pounding. Let's do this. Power up with a jump. Beautiful. If you're coming up on one leg, remember to alternate legs. Five more seconds. Let's do this. Woo! Rest. Come to standing. Okay, we're going to do a static hold. Right leg forwards, left leg back in a lunge. Circle the arms. Cactus down. I want you to really focus on the shoulder mobility. Legs stay still, so we're gonna burn. 20 seconds, and then switch legs, go. Reach and in. Make sure your right knee stays in line with your toes. Don't let it creep in like that. Inhale, exhale. Can we sink a little bit lower? Last few seconds, change legs. Up, squeeze down. Can you hover that back knee off the floor? Inhale, exhale, well done. Woo! Four seconds, get lower. Come on, squeeze back, last one. And up, shake it out. Ay, 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 good job. So feet gonna be in a wide squat, 45 degree angle. Fingertips can be to temples, or you can reach down towards your ankle. So your hand slides down the back of your leg. Eight reaches, and then four jumps. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, jump. For four, if the jumping feels too much, rise up and lower. Eight here. Three, two, one. Make sure in your jumps, when you land, knees don't drop forward. Push them back so they're in line with your toes. If you're struggling with that, rotate your legs a little bit more so the feet come in and your knees can stay in line with your toes. Oh guys, that's it. Rest. Well done, side lunge. We're gonna push off the right leg four times. Last one, hold it up and crunch for four. That foot can tap down, or you can keep it up. Let's go, lunge. Three, two, hold it up. Crunch, four, three, two, lunge. Let's go, push. Left leg staying straight, lift and hold. Starting to fatigue. <laughs> Let's push through it. Last one, up and hold. Woo. Three, two, and again, lunge. All the way, press through that leg to power yourself off the ground. And rest. Breathe through it. You know we're gonna do it on the left leg. Breathe, guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Well done. Four, three, two, left side. Push off for four. Lift that leg as high as you can. Lift it and hold. Crunch. So tapping the foot down to the floor is a little bit easier. Or you can keep the leg up and balance. Your choice. 
Yes, power that leg up. We're nearly there, guys. We've got 10 more seconds here. Woo! And one more move to do after this. Let's go, push it to the end. You can do it. Ah! All right, well done. Okay, stand one end of your mat. Roll yourself down. Walk your hands to the plank. Jump in, feet either side, or you can step them in. Come up, half turn, roll down. All right, let's go. Roll, walk out to plank. Step or jump the feet in. Up and half turn. Do it again. Jump and half turn. Let me see you roll. One vertebra at a time. Crown of the head reaches towards the floor. Take it easy if you need to. Otherwise, you've got 15 seconds and I want you to push it as hard as you can. Let's go, 10 seconds. Come on, don't give up. Right to the end, right to the end. Four, three, keep it going. Two, one. Woo! Sweet. Well done, guys. Breathe here. Give me a rotation. Breathe through it. Just rotate, just rotate. Okay. How are you feeling? Oh, you worked so hard, well done. Okay, let's take the feet wide, sink it down. I want you to use your right hand and push the inside of your right thigh or knee backwards. Keep your head up above your heart. Both feet are flat on the floor, switch over. So the left shoulder drops forward, push that left knee away, twisting in your torso. Breathe, let the sweat drip off. Toes to the front, hands to your thighs, round your spine. If you want to, here you can bring the hands to the back of your thighs and pull away, chin tucks to chest, abs pulling in, hands to the top of the thighs and lengthen out the spine. Let's come up. Woo. Right leg step back. Find a lunge, you're sinking the, the knee down. I want you to tuck the tailbone under. So you're feeling a little bit of a stretch in the front of that right hip. If you want to, if you've got your balance, right arm up next to your ear and side bend over. Keep the tailbone tucked under. Well done. Straighten up and now push your right heel down to the ground, leaning forward. I want you to make sure you don't leave your butt behind you. Bring it with you. Press that heel right down. Shoulder blades pulling down your back. Really push into the ground with that heel. Just check that your right foot pointing straight forward. If your toes are open to the side of it, correct it and you'll feel a lot more stretch into that calf. Bring it in. Woo. Step back with the left. Sink it down. Arm up. Tuck the tailbone under. The left arm is up. Taking it over to the side. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Release. Straighten up. Press that left heel down. Bring your body weight forward. Don't forget to bring your butt with you. Shoulder blades coming down your back. Breathing. Bring it up. <laughs> well done, guys. I hope you're feeling strong and you're sweating as much as I am. <laughs> <laughs> 